Hi, my name is Peter. I'm here at uh, Retrofret in Brooklyn, New York. I'm going to show you a little bit how to adjust a single coordinator rod banjo. You look inside an old open back Gibson like this, you see there's one coordinator rod that runs right down from the neck to the heel. Uh, some banjos have two. Right now we're dealing with the simpler concept of one. Uh, basically what this does is it adjusts the angle of the neck to the body, which is what controls how high or low your action is. So the first thing you want to make sure is that this rod is tight here to the heel of the banjo. So you see generally there's a hole in it. You put some sort of a drift like the screwdriver through the hole and just make sure that if you tighten it, there's no loose slack here. And that makes sure that the heel of the banjo is as tight to the rim of the banjo as it can be. Once you've got that done, if you need to make your action lower, this nut in here, put a half inch wrench on and you loosen it just a little bit. This nut on the outside of the rim, if you tighten this just a bit, that will pull the whole rim closer together, pull the heel in tighter, and that will make the action on the banjo just a little bit lower. And do this a tiny bit at a time. Anytime you see this little plastic cover or something like it on the headstock of a Gibson or a similar banjo, it means there's a truss rod in the neck. Uh, you can use that adjustment to keep the neck straight, but again, do this with extreme caution because this is something that you can damage an instrument with easily. So, to adjust the truss rod, take a small screwdriver, take out the two little screws that hold the cover in place. Conceptually, you'll see there's a little nut right there. That adjusts the straightness of the neck from here to here. And you need the proper wrench. And if you want to straighten your neck out a little bit, you very carefully sight down the neck. You're looking like a, like a long expanse of railroad tracks. If you see a valley in the middle, that basically means that your neck is bowed a little bit forward. And you want to take this rod and tighten it just a tiny bit. If you're getting a lot of buzzing here in the middle of the neck, that essentially means that the truss rod is too tight. And then you want to put a wrench on it and back it off just a tiny bit. And let me emphasize, for safety out there, kids, do this very, very carefully. And if you've never done it before, the first time you have someone work on your banjo, have them show you how to do it. Uh, because this is a place where you definitely want to use extreme care. You can damage an instrument doing it. But it is a customer adjustment. Gibson and other people who use this kind of rod don't get freaked out if you want to use it. But just be careful and inspect very carefully every time you work on a rod, look at it, and never just put a wrench on and start cranking away. All these things are adjustments to keep the banjo playing properly, hopefully in tune and hopefully comfortable. And sometimes even in tune.